Hey, it's Dave. So I wanted to share a few thoughts on Tesla's latest video of their humanoid robot folding clothes. Let's take a look at this video and I'll share my comments. All right, first off, Elon did share that the bot in this video was teleoperated. What that means is that the robot wasn't figuring out how to fold the clothes on the spot. Rather, there was a human controlling the robot, maybe via some remote gloves and controls. Now, some might completely write off this video because it was teleoperated, but I think that's missing the point. Tesla is showing here that their current hardware is physically capable of extremely dexterous and agile movements like folding clothes. In other words, Tesla sought out to build the most capable humanoid robot ever in terms of hardware, and we're seeing more evidence that they've succeeded in doing so. The humanoid robot is still lacking the brains though to know how to use its body and hands in a way that's comparable to humans, but that will be coming. All right, so let's dive into some more thoughts here. First, the hands. See, most humanoid robots of the past have skimped out on the hands, kind of like putting chopsticks as fingers. But for Tesla, they've really spent an amazing amount of focus and effort on the hands and making them as capable as possible. Elon shared that he wanted to be able to thread a needle, right, with Optimus. In fact, he said in an X post that so much engineering has gone into the hands and that in a year, it'll be able to thread a needle. In a way, Elon and Tesla have been obsessed with the hands and that's really the only way to get the hands, right, to be as capable as they are already. Think about how much you use your hands and your fingers. You wake up, you pick up your phone with your hands, you put your clothes on with your hands, you brush your teeth with your hands, you flush the toilet, grab a cup of coffee, eat a muffin, all with your hands. You go to your car, open the door, right? All with your hands and the list goes on. We use our hands and fingers for so much of our daily activity. If a humanoid robot's hands are not gonna be able to have the dexterity of a human, then it can't do most of what a human can do and thus it won't give a ton of value. But this is where the genius of the Tesla bot comes in. By focusing on the hands and making sure they can even thread a needle, Tesla is ensuring that the bot will be able to deliver a ton of value by being capable of doing much of what a human does. Folding clothes is a simple but hard test. But if Tesla bot can thread a needle, then it will be able to do a lot of other things as well. Probably even cook you dinner and a long list of things too long to list. Second, I think this year we're gonna see huge jumps in what Optimus can do. Tesla appears to have the right hardware in place. Of course, they'll make improvements, but if the hardware already can fold clothes, then it's good enough to be taught to do a lot of things. That's why I think this year, Tesla will make huge strides in teaching the robot to autonomously do tasks. Tesla will need to train their robots and they'll need the data to do so. And that's where things like teleoperating comes in handy. It's all about teaching the robot how to do things like picking up, folding, turning, pushing, even using a kitchen knife eventually. They'll add simulation and more types of training data. And eventually the Tesla bot will be able to look at how things are done via video and do them. That's probably the goal. It's gonna take a while to get there, but I think we're gonna see fast improvements toward this this year, and largely because the hardware is ready for the brain. All right, third thought here. My timeline for Optimus is shifting. This might be optimistic and it's really hard to estimate and guess timelines because things are changing all the time. But if Tesla's humanoid robot can thread a needle by the end of the year, then it'll be capable of doing a lot of highly complex and difficult things. And if this year they make a ton of improvements to the neural nets running the bot, then I think we can see Tesla using their bots by the end of this year in their factories. And it's possible we could see Tesla start selling right, their Optimus robot to others in 2025. I know this might sound aggressive to some people and hey, I might be wrong, but Elon has mentioned that Tesla is designing their bot for mass manufacturing, meaning the Tesla bot isn't a research project. No, Tesla is building the bot to manufacture at scale. 
All right, thought number four here. Some people are biased because of how long FSD has taken, and that's understandable. But I think it can be making some people more negative and pessimistic about Optimus's timeline. The key difference is that FSD is dealing with life and death situations all the time. One wrong move and the car crashes and someone can be killed. As a result, the stakes are super high and it needs to be near perfect. However, with Optimus, the robot is moving slowly and doing mostly mundane tasks. It could fall over and hurt someone, so Tesla needs to make sure that they really nail balance and the bot never falling over. But other companies have solved this problem already. We've seen videos of some people kicking humanoid robots and the robot not falling over and regaining balance. I think Optimus will get that probably this year as well. All right, number five, here's some thoughts on why I think Optimus will ramp fast. It all comes down to value creation. If a humanoid robot can deliver extremely high value, then it's gonna have high demand, which means Tesla can sell a lot of them. What the folding laundry video that I showed earlier shows to me, it shows an example of the value that the bot gives. Now that's just one of thousands of different use cases for the robot that the robot will be able to do. If you think about it, it's quite mind blowing. It's a general purpose humanoid robot. In other words, folding clothes is just one of the literally millions of things it could do. And that's all value creation, meaning it's adding value. Now there's a curve and a rate at which Tesla's humanoid robot can pick up skills and add value. And I think most people are thinking that Tesla's humanoid robot isn't going to be very useful for many years. But if you add capable hardware, especially hands that can thread a needle, and a body that has super balance, and then you add neural nets on top of that to navigate the physical world and learn new tasks by simply viewing how they're done. If you put all of that together, then you've got perhaps the greatest product of all time. The question is when and if Tesla can get that done. I personally think they're already getting it done. And for the question of when, I think we'll have a better idea by the end of this year. I think we'll see a lot more demonstration videos of Optimus improving, and we can gauge more clearly what kind of value the robot is creating. That value will determine the demand. I've got some more thoughts I wanna share on this, but I'll save it on my next video, and I'll call it a billion robots are coming. Yeah, think about that. In 20 years or so, I expect probably a billion humanoid robots on Earth. I'll explain my reasonings and the rationale behind that. Anyways, I just wanted to share some quick thoughts on that folding closed video by Tesla. I think a lot of people are underestimating what Tesla is doing with humanoid robots. The future potential is mind boggling. All right guys, we'll see you guys in my next video, thanks.